cost for running the company annual cost for running the company every year that we have to consider uh, in order uh, in order to run a company in portugal jo which is the minimum or maximum cost it's depend of depend on uh, type of transaction type of companies always but obligations you should hire an accountant accountant will charge minimum minimum amount if you do not have much transactions much invoices 100 euro per month you bank will charge around 10 euro per month for the company uh, maintaining the account and this all this is the another expenses apart this if you have a one employee or a shareholder who is active in the company he should pay social contribution around 34.70% to the government it's around on the minimum wages it's around 235 euro a month apart this okay. this is the obligations apart this mm -hmm. you have physical office or virtual office you have other assets or other activity of the company it's the minimum cost will be around 350 to 500 euro a month the minimum if your company is nothing they they don't have any business they don't have any transactions still you have expenses Great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Please. Energy. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I have got a friend in Le uh, staying in Lira. He has yeah. just got a EU card. EU so card. Basically, yeah. He we basically wanted to open a company, mm -hmm. basically automobile business, like okay. uh, sort of you can say a garage. And uh, I will be at the partner with him. and i am residing in india at the moment mm -hmm. so which is the best way like i have to show an investment officially to the bank that i will invested invested something uh, in the company or what no let me explain you if your friend is already residing in portugal or uh, any area of portugal uh, holding the eu uh, card uh, of portugal of course he can create any company and you can also introduce and uh, buy a part of uh, the company uh, you can become a shareholder or partner of the company after creation of this company you are uh, willing to establish uh, this one automobile business you can just open activity in the automobile and elaborate your uh, work activity in the mou then further you have to apply the visa uh, to the consulate at your home country in india and present your business idea and project and presentation along with your budget whatever budget you would like to invest or he he would like to invest for example 50000 100000 or 20000 you have to show this uh, budget along with uh, present your idea uh, which willing which you are willing to start in portugal then the consulate will analyze this all things if everything is goes well everything is genuine your budget is genuine your company is okay and uh, they they allow you they issue the residence visa to you at your home country but uh, is it any criteria from the government that this xyz amount is the minimum requirement from no. the government the, the, no there is no specified uh, requirement or a specified investment is required but it should be real it should be active it is important because you are comp you open a company and you are a active partner in the company you are a contributing social security to the government and you have a very good business idea and you have a budget then it's okay whatever budget you have it's no matter so in, there is no, no specified in, budget is required so in, no in that case my friend who is already residing in portugal he can open a company uh, he can put me as a partner yes and, and officially if i uh, make a transfer of some payment to the company uh, stating that i am a legal uh, yes, investor yes. also Yes, so it will be like I mean he can issue me yes, like it, a business it, it, visa or like a, it will be like a B two visa. I, I don't know about. Yes, I'm explaining. I'm explaining. You have two options. After creation of company, after uh, become a partner of Portuguese company, you have two options. One option you can request for short duration business visa visa. That visa is not okay. residence visa. It's just short duration to see your partners to negotiate. and meetings in portugal business meetings in portugal this is one of uh, visa it's called short duration visa this is for the purpose of visiting purpose of business negotiation another visa is called residence visa 
you can apply residence visa as well but it takes longer time to get a decision once you put the application to the consulate section for the residence visa they will forward your application to the cef here in portugal and the cef will analyze your things in tax office in social security office in labor office in these all offices also they will analyze your company activities already active or what is doing these all thing and then they will return back the decision to the consulate and then consulate will give you the visa it's called d2 visa if you request for short duration visa for business meeting visa for business negotiation visa it's less than 90 day visa then consulate have power to grant visa within few period within 10 days or within 30 days he have power to issue the visa basis of so uh, push the document so while i'm on a like business this business visa and my staying there also i can uh, complete all these for this for that is there and it's a uh, Up to the government if they can allow me get me that uh, residence visa. So by by staying there only, I can apply for that visa, or I need to exit the country there. Yes, I am explaining before that this situation. I already explained before. Once again, I am explaining. Now you have two option again. Once you have landed in Portugal, basis of E category visa means short duration visa or visit visa, then you have two options. One option you can request for residency while sitting in while residing in Portugal, but it takes longer time to obtain the residence card. Another option you just do formalities, uh, do things whatever negotiation you would like to do, and return back within the valid visa of ninety day or thirty day or maybe sixty day visa. Okay. You return back your country and request for new visa. It's called residence visa. So you have two options. If you would like to stay, it's possible you can stay. If you would like to go back, it's possible you can go back and uh, apply new visa, or it's called residence residence visa and come again. Have you heard? Okay, and uh, I mean after this meeting, uh, I'll personally be in touch with you to take all these services, and we'll, we can discuss about the charges. Yes, yes, I will. I will explain you deep details after because it's uh, not sufficient time. Sometime so I, know, I can I explain can or I can. Uh, uh, deliver all information but we could uh, just you can take our uh, special appointment we will explain you each and everything step by step even we have make dot of presentations uh, about this subjects uh, so we will send you this our information and presentations later yes, sir. please ask your person mr vasco like email yes. address yes please vasco yeah i just uh, i don't know if there are any questions i just like to leave a, a few a few ideas in here uh basically we talked about here different types of uh, visas and different different types of investment in portugal you have what is normally called the golden visa that is basically a citizenship by investment uh program uh, which uh, uh requires you to uh, live in portugal roughly with some rules seven days per year that means you can come for a holidays and comply with the living requirements for the golden visa another type of visa is the, the 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 situation where you actually are coming with your family to work in portugal and to set a business and a way of life and that i think the 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 lawyer uh, inês she covered that as well so i think but it's two different things in terms of um two different group of investors and two different groups of kind of investment going back to the golden visa the golden visa is a program that uh, uh, will continue over the coming next year and so on it will have some changes uh, going into january 2022 up at areas close to the sea it doesn't apply to the inside of the country and uh, you can where you can actually uh, get golden visa starting at 280000 euros of investment and uh, uh, when you go to the developed areas it goes up to 500000 euros uh, of investment basically the golden visa is a suitable type of investment for people who are not planning to come and live in portugal now but look to portugal as a way one 
to get some return on their investment. Two, that uh, maybe in the future they plan to come and live, or retire, work, or just bring the family, get the, the kids to school, um, something of in this in this um, guidelines. And that golden visa may be a suitable to have kind of a safety network passport uh, if uh, things go um, a bit more difficult in the country where you are. Um, we have, uh, I mean, one of the situations where this may apply maybe in the in the in the in the people that are actually working and living currently in the Middle East, where it's interesting to stay, live, and work, make some money. But once your job is finished, you staying there with the residence permit is either not possible or very expensive. And um, uh, in this case, having a safety network as a, as a backup or as an, that could be on the first hand an investment and on the second hand for the future, a kind of a backup for living and, and, um, and family protection. This could be, um, I would say, that's how I, I uh, see interesting for you, the golden visa programs. For people that are uh, investing to start a business. Uh, I think, uh, as I said, Ineesh covered that and, uh, and uh, Saini also is, uh, is an expert on that. So I think you are, you are very safe. If you have any questions, I'd appreciate, uh, I, I'm, I have a few minutes still that I can answer. But I should be leaving in the in the in the for my next appointment in, the, in a few minutes. No questions. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Saini. Uh, thank you, Mr. Vasco. Thank you very much uh, for the joining uh, today and uh, give you precious time and wonderful information. Hello. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Hello. Yes, please. Hello. Yes, 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 please. I have a question, Bob. Uh, yes, please, Karamjit. Yes. Okay, yes. Hi, how are you? Oh, fine, thank you. Hi, how are you, Karamjit? Okay, Hello. I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Okay, so I just want to ask one thing, like I'm a designer, a graphic designer, so I would like to open a, a designing, I mean, you can say printing company in Portugal. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, how can we do that? I think if you are a designer, is freelancer is uh, good for you in order, uh, uh, instead of uh, open a company because uh, for independent people, for freelancers like you is belong to IT sector and uh, belong to like designing or programmers. It's always we suggested independent uh, freelancer activity. It's, it's less expensive, even the less obligation of the taxes and all and uh, uh, you are an artist, so you can uh, open independent activity instead of an company. Okay, so can I do that from Hello. India? Or do I need to visit over there? Yes, it's possible. Yeah, yes, it's possible. Please, I, I'll just take another question. Please, somebody want to ask from question from Basco. Hello. Yes, please. Hello, Mr. Vasco. Hello. Yes. yes. Hello, Mr. Vasco. Uh, regarding the golden visa property, which you had uh, discussed a few months ago, uh, you said you had some already pre-leased properties available. Yes. Uh, so, sir, uh, how do we go about, how do we know, can we have details of the properties? Because I'm interested in going for the golden visa. Um, but yeah, there's a constraint. I, 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 we have, we have in, in our website uh, most of these properties. Uh, some, uh, we have packs specially for golden visa. You can you can relate that with the uh, with the uh, Saini and uh, he can get you the um, our our website or or the properties that are suitable for uh, your type of investment. So, so these properties are already pre-leased, so we can expect the rental immediately. There are both. No. There are some of them have, have already a uh, tenant inside, so it's just an investment, uh, and you have a. a, a Return on investment uh, first month immediately, uh, and uh, and uh, um, and others are, are empty. You need to need to get a, a tenant eventually. Okay, it really okay. depends. Right, uh, there, there are no properties where the the tenant pays us the advance rental or yearly advance rental or something. I couldn't get your 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 
can you speak slower? I couldn't understand. No, no. Uh, there, there are any properties where tenants give us monthly, means the advance rental for a year, something, some properties of that, that sort. Uh, he, he would like to ask uh, the, the the tenant will pay advance yearly rent in advance or how they are paying? No, 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 no. They pay monthly advance. Not not usual to pay yearly advance. When sometimes people are offered to pay a yearly advance, they want um, a cash discount immediately. It's 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 kind of um, it's not usual to pay one year in advance. It's uh, we do this, uh, especially with foreign uh, uh, people, uh, normally individuals, not companies, and uh, that uh, uh, they come, they stay here for one or two years and they pay one year each time and, uh, and close the issue. But normally that comes with a, with a, a discount tag associated. I think he is asking for a security deposit. No, 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 not, no, not, security, no not security. He's asking about the advance rent. I, I understand. Yeah, I'm oh, asking okay, about okay. advanced rental. I'm asking about advanced rental. Yes. Oh, okay. But in generally, in general, in Portugal, uh, the 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 tenant will pay a two month rent in advance and one uh, one month rent in advance and two securities. It, it's practiced like this in Portugal. But if oh, okay, you expect okay. a one year rent in advance, it's not happen usually in Portugal. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, another, another any another security question? deposit Wait, kind of work? Sir, another question on golden visa is that uh, any property meeting the what you say the price range is eligible for golden visa or the government has nominated certain properties like uh, I I found certain properties uh, on internet supposing I find some property in internet which I like I like and I want to negotiate so will that qualify for golden visa or there are some procedures involved in that. It's, it's very, very simple. The, the properties qualify according to their location. The investment, you need to, with one property, two, three, or 10 properties, it doesn't matter. You could buy a shop, an apartment, a garage, a plot of land. Everything adds up, which is in this case, the, the standard there would be 500 for, that covers all the country, 500,000, uh, euros. Um, if you go to the low, de uh, low density areas, um, then the, the amount is 400,000. And if you are buying properties that are more than 30 years old and they are willing to do the, the reworks, we can do this for you. That's no problem. We prepare, we have companies working with us that do this uh, work contract. And um, he, need to invest only 280,000 euros. So this is the development uh, policy associated with the visa. Yeah, but uh, uh, sir, my question is very specific, very particular. Okay. I know that these are the uh, price or these are the cutoff range given by the government. But what I want to ask is that if I like a property, uh, do any property qualify for a golden visa if the rate is supposing I like a property of 200 in a backward in a low density population of 280,000 euros? Uh, does it automatically qualify for a golden visa? You need to buy two properties, you need one 200 plus another 180. It's not one 200, you need to meet the minimum investment requirement. With several, you could buy. You need to keep buying properties until you reach the share, the, the threshold, the minimum, which in this case is two hundred and eighty thousand euros of properties. Yeah, uh, let me let me explain, Mr. Anju. Your one question is one or ten. It doesn't matter. Yeah, your question is that if you can uh, select any property in the in the particular area, you are automatically qualified. Of course, because if that property is in the low density yes. area. The price is two hundred and eighty thousand. It's whatever property doesn't matter. This property location, uh, this property is like this or like that. It's no any property is qualifying for this area. Even in, exactly. uh, in oh, even can, if you are chosen, the only requir requirement for a property to qualify is it has a land registration number. That's all. Anything that has a land registration number, 
qualifies for the golden visa. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, thanks. That, 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 that's a very good advice. So it will have a land registration number, qualify for a golden visa. This land registration number in the competent authority, it is automatically qualified for golden visa. Okay, okay, great, great, sir, great. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Mr. Anandjun, please, okay. uh, please drop and your and query by email to us. We will send you the comprehensive information about this golden visa. And we have many listed property with Mr. Our partner company, Basco. And we will send you the deep, deep detail about these subjects. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. So right. I'll drop my email. Thank yes, you sir. very much. Thank you, please. Please. Thank you. Thank okay. you. No other questions. I need. I need to to go for my next appointment. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you me. very much, and Mr. Vasco. Thank, you very, Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Just please. I'm here. Still, I'm here for you. Hi, Mr. Sahani. My question is for you. Yes, Mr. Sharma ji. Please. Uh, Sahani. Uh, my name is Sahani. Uh, uh, Mr. Sahani, uh, I see somewhere. Ah, Safar Sahani ji. Yes, please, sir. Yeah. So my question is. Uh, how much time does D7 visa take, uh, retirement visa? And I have approx 1.25 CR in my account in India, which is 50 lakhs is approximately FDs and 75 is approximately in my current and saving account. So can I qualify for the D7 retirement visa? Yeah. Firstly, and how I, much time it will take? Yes. Firstly, I would like to explain you, whatever money you have, you are not qualifying for D7 visa. D7 visa eligibility criteria is income from that particular savings. If you have fixed deposits and you are receiving interest from this uh, deposit, uh, from this deposit, that is your income. That is your passive income. You need to calculate that income, how much you are receiving uh, interest from that investment or that uh, fixed deposits or rental income or pension, right? One point. Hello, are you listening? Yes, yes, I'm listening. Yes, yes. The one point you should have passive income, not fixed deposit or not assets. Not uh, we, we cannot calculate like this type of uh, you have a uh, so much money in your bank and you are qualifying for those. No, you from so much money you are receiving particular interest, particular passive income each month or each year that is considerable for the D7 visa. One point. That is uh, uh, nowadays uh, 665 euro per month. You should, if you are an individual, if you are a, along with spouse, then the 50% of the uh, 600, 665 euro, so-called uh, 330 euro nearly. Oh. If you have a child, is 25% of the passive income you should have. You should have proof per month or per year income from your assets or from your savings or from your fixed deposit or from your pension. Okay. And my second question is, if we go for a D2 visa, how much time it will take from starting till getting the visa from India, Delhi? And is it VFS open and they are giving D2 visa because uh, I've, I've, uh, I have a conversation with the uh, VFS and they were saying like they are not open for any kind of D visas. Okay, so let me explain you. D2 visa, it's for the entrepreneur, not for the retiree people because D7 visa, previous question was the retirement. Now the question is for the commercial. Uh, yes. This is the D2 visa. It's only possible once you have a, uh, as Anish is our lawyer was explained, you have a, a strong commercial relation with the Portuguese government or Portuguese government, then you can proceed for D2 visa. As such, you have a company in Portugal, you have job offer from Portugal, you already registered uh, your activity in Portugal, or you have any business idea or any partner or any, any parties in Portugal who's willing to buy your services, who's willing to buy your product in Portugal, then you can eligible or you are qualifying for the D2 visa, one point, right? Uh -huh. the, in order to apply, once you put the application to the consulate, they will not have any power to issue the D2 visa. They can just transfer your application uh, to, to Portugal with the SEF, is the responsible authority issuing the D2 visa. Then this uh, immigration of Portugal will analyze from the tax office, from the social office of, of your status of commercial status in Portugal. If everything goes well, 
then they give the positive feedback to the consulate everything is okay here please issue the visa then the consulate grant visa it's called d2 visa for you and it's how, general how, takes around 4 months to 6 month processing time okay okay 4 to 6 months yes all right thank you hello all right please yes please sir hello yeah i'm listening sir please हेलो सर जी जी सर जी पंजाबी भी कोविड आ गया दोबारा वापिस आना सी छोटे निके ने खोली सी भरा ने जाके खोली थ्रू ही खोली बस सिर्फ बैंक अकाउंट नहीं खोल सकिया कंपनी बाकी उन्होंने इंडिविजुअल अपना बैंक अकाउंट तो खोल लेता ओके ते हुन इथे रुके पए हैं सऊदीया एची ठीक हो गया ते हुन की करिए वीजे ते है ना साडे कोल सारे अंदर यानी मगर ओ विजिट वीजे के ने 4-4 साल दे मल्टीपल मगर मसला वही है कि ए नेदरलैंड दे वीजे के ने पुर्तगाल दे वीजा नहीं है के साडे को तुसी एक काम कर सकदे हो एदे लिए जेडी सऊदी दे विच पुर्तगीज कंसुलेट हैगी है अपने कंपनी दे डॉक्यूमेंट सारा कुछ उना नु भेजो ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਉਹ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਸਰ ਜੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਥਰੂ ਖੋਲੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਗੱਲ ਉਹਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਉਹਦਾ ਭੇਜੀ ਹੈ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਉਹਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਪੁਰਤਗੀਜ਼ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਉਸ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦੇ ਡਾਕੂਮੈਂਟ ਪੁਰਤਗੀਜ਼ ਕੰਸੂਲੇਟ ਨੂੰ ਭੇਜੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਕਰੋ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਨੈਗੋਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਇਨਵੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਇਨਵੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਨੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਉਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਿਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਐਂਟਰੀ ਅਲਾਉ ਕਰ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਕਿ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਜ਼ ਵੀਜ਼ਾ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲੇ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਸਟ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਦੀ ਪਰਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਣੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਦੀ ਪਰਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਵੀਜ਼ੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਐਸੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਪੁਰਤਗਾਲ ਅਸੈਪਟ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਸਾਊਦੀ ਅਰੇਬੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਣਾ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਅਸੈਪਟ ਕਰਨਗੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹਦੇ ਲਈ 에ਅਰਲਾਈਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੇ ਪੁਰਤਗੀਜ਼ ਕੰਸੂਲੇਟ ਨੂੰ ਅਗਰ ਮੇਲ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਨਫਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਏਗੀ 95% ਟਰੈਵਲ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਕੋਈ ਇਨਵੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਮੰਗਾਣਾ ਪਏਗਾ ਇਹ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਪਏਗਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਾਕੂਮੈਂਟ ਭੇਜੋ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਉੱਥੇ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਮੇਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਨੈਗੋਸ਼ੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਲਈ ਜਾਣਾ ਸਾਡੀ ਅਰਜੈਂਟ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਕਰਕੇ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਫਿਰ ਕੰਸੂਲੇਟ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਖੁਦ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਜਾਂ 에ਅਰਲਾਈਨ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਕਿ ਇਨਵੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਮੰਗਵਾ ਕੇ ਦਿਓ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਨਵੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਅਰੇਂਜ ਕਰਕੇ ਭੇਜ ਦਵਾਂਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਚਲੋ ਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਿਹਰਬਾਨੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸਰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਜੀ ਸਰ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਕਨੀ ਸਰ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸੈਟ ਕਿ D7 ਵੀਜ਼ਾ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂ ਪੜ੍ਹ ਰਹਾ ਤਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਆਪਕੋ ਯਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਰੈਂਟ ਐਗਰੀਮੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਚਾਹੀਏ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਕਰਨੇ ਕੇ ਲਿਏ ਰੈਂਟ ਐਗਰੀ ਰੈਂਟ ਐਗਰੀਮੈਂਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਓਬਲੀਗੇਸ਼ ਓਬਲੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਡੈਮੋਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਥੈਟ ਵੇਅਰ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਸਟੇ ਆਫਟਰ ਲੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਪੁਰਤਗਾਲ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਹੈਵ ਸਮ ਹਾਊਸ ਕੰਟਰੈਕਟ ਰੈਂਟਲ ਕੰਟਰੈਕਟ ਔਰ ਮੇਬੀ ਸਮ a renting company contract who will assist you or someone who will uh, uh, accommodate you here on landing this is important lekin usko how to manage it because let's say if i apply income wise i will process to you i will show it to you but for rent until it's unless possible. i don't get a food no it's possible it's possible there are several renting company who will help you for this we have many uh, renting company vasco is also one of real estate company so we have number mm. of apartments are empty we can just arrange we can communicate with them and uh, make an a contract for you it's manageable you are saying it's manageable it's possible to manage that ठीक डन थैंक यू सर राइट प्लीज हेलो सर हाय हेलो यस प्लीज सर जी सर हेलो जी जी सर आई एम कॉलिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया जी सर प्लीज लिसनिंग हां sir my age is 
बराबर दैट्स नाइस सो अभी आपका इधर आके पुर्तगाल में 